man, if the last 36 hours were any indication at all, we've got a lot ahead of us in the next two weeks here before Season 3's launch across Warzone, Vanguard, and would you believe it, even Black Ops Cold War. Yesterday, we learned a little bit about the potential crossover event happening in which we could see maybe Godzilla coming to Caldera, as crazy as that sounds. But today, we learned a little bit more in terms of another teaser, but perhaps most notably, we learned more about what's upcoming for Treyarch's involvement in Season 3 and 4 across Vanguard and Black Ops Cold War. Today, in this video, we're breaking down everything you need to know so that you're in the loop and know exactly what to look out for. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to anything in particular in regards to Warzone, Vanguard, or even Black Ops Cold War in Season 3? As well, if you enjoy the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you guys are new to the channel, you'd like to stay today with all things Vanguard, Warzone, and again, even Cold War, hit that subscribe button. We got a lot to talk about, and with Season 3 right on the horizon here, if you're at all interested in any of it, I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, of course, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage and use code ESPRESSO if you guys are at all interested in picking anything up to help out your vision health. That said, though, let's jump right into what we know. So yesterday, we got a brand new teaser cinematic for Season 3. If you didn't see yesterday's video breaking down all of that, the general gist of it is the Nazis set off Nebula 5 bombs across the world, and in doing so in Caldera in particular, something was awakened. General context clues gave us roaring and recreations of what we could infer, but it wasn't until another piece of intel was given from the official Call of Duty Twitter that when you looked at the audio bite associated with it in a spectral view, it revealed the phrase, monsters are real. And many of us, having seen the leaked event from months ago, took this as full confirmation that we'd be seeing Godzilla in some capacity in Season 3, as crazy as that sounds, on top of our weaponry, our operators, and whatever else may be coming our way in Vanguard and Warzone. Now today, we got another teaser in the form of a mailing list clue. In an email that you may have even gotten yourself, entitled, See What's New in Call of Duty, Don't Believe There Lies, Something Big Is, and It Cuts Off, there's an attached image that showcases a little bit more in terms of some clues here. Not a whole ton is discernible, the image itself isn't super high quality, so if you zoom in it gets distorted a little bit, but you see a folder labeled Top Secret with a little blood on it and a note that says Leak to Press If I Go Missing. There's a redacted letter, and again, it's a little too low res to see anything in particular text-wise. And then there's images of Caldera with one scrap of paper with Morse code on it. Now this, this is where it gets kind of good. Now, I don't know who transcribed it first for credit here, but the translation equals, do not believe them. Secret weapons exist. I am compromised. So, seems like this sort of mystic plot is getting a little deeper. I'm not sure how that will entirely reflect on things in, say, the Vanguard weaponry set, if it does at all. Perhaps there's now going to be more Easter eggs in Warzone to get something a little bit more like a secret weapon. We'll have to wait and see, but the image associated also, though, to note, is only for Warzone. There's no branding for Vanguard here on this, so that could play into it as well. Maybe it doesn't affect any Vanguard weaponry or anything like that that we get for the mainline content, but instead, it's just hinting at something a little further. But it's certainly interesting, for sure. I'm very curious to see how all of this goes down. It seems like maybe more will be ramping up here in the next two weeks leading to Season 2. I mean, we've had two teasers in two days, still two weeks out from the launch of the new season. And I've now said too, too many times together to make that last two sentences too much to handle. Sorry, but was that, uh, was that too much? Anyways, jokes and alliteration aside, certainly interesting to see how things are ramping up here and what we're getting already for Season 3. Now, outside of that, Treyarch actually came in with another major blog post here, dropping a ton of information for us players as to what we can expect from their end of the studios. Now, for reference, you have to bear in mind just how much is actually going on at Treyarch right now. This spans quite a bit. I mean, Treyarch is working on, right now, Vanguard Zombies, Vanguard Ranked Play, Cold War Multiplayer in some limited capacity, Cold War Zombies, and whatever they're working on for their next title presumed to be coming in 2024 at this point. Maybe even working on something right now that's been reported to be a free-to-play title and entry in some capacity for Call of Duty in the next year to kind of fill out that gap here, the first that we've seen, or rumored to be the first that we see in COD's modern history. So there is a lot on their plate right now, but they're delivering on each of these fronts in some way, shape, or form across the next season, season and a half or so. So with season three, let's start there. Now, the most prominent and sort of definitive stuff that they've given here is some more Cold War content. They ended up detailing that they'll have a new ranged weapon inbound, also a little later on down the line, a new melee weapon introduced, a returning map, that being Jungle, which kind of now comes into play to be something that we've seen beforehand. It was rumored that Jungle and then what we already had introduced of WMD would be coming into the game, Jungle now being confirmed, but leakers also hinting at firing range, grind, Havana, launch, and slums potentially coming 
as well. And again, all of those kind of make sense if we're just giving extra content in Black Ops Cold War because all of those were in Black Ops 4 already. So in terms of building something from the ground up, it's not going to be as intensive as maintenance needed and anything like that, where it takes away too much from the developmental aspect on those other things that we mentioned that they're working on. So that's something that's definitely interesting to see. And they also mentioned that, of course, new weapon blueprints, operator skins, and other things in bundles are coming as well. So there's definitely some cool stuff here for Black Ops Cold War on the MP side of things, but also on the zombie side of things. Now, they detail that they're not going to be adding new maps in here, but instead they're going to be adding new secrets and making some adjustments as well. Now, maps and sort of mainline zombies content is something that they said they're going to be holding for Vanguard, which we'll talk about in just a second. But they mentioned that there's going to be a new secret, particularly for those that conquered every main quest in zombies for Cold War as is. So I'm thinking super Easter egg here with this. We haven't seen one of these for quite some time. We saw it executed pretty well in Infinite Warfare Zombies. I don't recall off the top of my head if there's anything in Treyarch Zombies as of recently that's been like that just yet, but that seems to be the way they're going here with this, and that is something that I am incredibly excited to see what they do with that. I thought that they kind of took the Dark Aether story and made it pretty interesting on how they wrapped it up or air quote wrapped it up, so I'm curious to see how this all plays out. They also mentioned, though, that onslaught changes, zombie type adjustments, additional challenges, and the likes are going to be coming as well for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Now, jumping over to the Vanguard side of things here, for Ranked Play Season 3, that's something that they mentioned there's going to be a new season, new rewards with blueprints for the Automaton, as well as the MP40, as well as new rank resets, SR resets, and everything. So, it's a blank and fresh light here for those of you guys that are playing Ranked Play, if you're at all interested in that. Honestly, the image they gave to kind of preview these rewards, I quite like these. I might actually have to jump into Ranked Play and grind out a lot of these to try and get what I may be able to, but certainly looks interesting. And finally, in terms of what Treyarch detailed here, Vanguard Zombies. Now, this is something that you have to bear in mind. This isn't coming with Season 3, but instead will be a little beyond because it's kind of like an overhaul to Zombies just being announced. They're announcing it now and working on it here in the future. It's not necessarily like the overhaul has already happened and they're just announcing it now. Instead, they took all that feedback. They're going to be incorporating round-based play and round-based maps here going forward for Vanguard Zombies. So, Terra Maledicta, what we saw with Duran Fang, it doesn't look like those are going to be the sort of hub-based experiences we're going to be getting anymore, which... Honestly, good. I like round base way better. I can, as a creative, applaud Treyarch for trying something different. I mean, you never want to be pigeonholed to do the same thing, especially when it's been over a decade of doing the same thing. But at the same time, it just, even as something new, it wasn't really worth playing Vanguard Zombies. So to see this now, switching to round based, they're going to be working on new AI wave systems, new spawning and pathing systems. So it's going to take time. They ended up mentioning that the first of these introductions will be a reimagination here of Shinonuma. So playing on what we already kind of know, but also new in some capacity. So I'm curious to see how this will work out when it actually does. It seems like this will be more so a target of season four and not necessarily season three, but at least we got something that's kind of bringing us back to traditional zombies experiences in the future. Now, whether or not it's too little too late, that's entirely up to you guys to decide. Personally, I don't think that I'm going to be trying it out that much just because Vanguard Zombies kind of jaded me so much. It didn't seem worth my time, and I don't know if anything they do can bring me back for this year. I'll, of course, certainly look forward to whatever's next, but I just don't really have too much an interest this year, even though the story has been phenomenal so far. So we'll see how everything works out like that, but right now, that's what Treyarch detailed is what's upcoming across their full plate of offerings for Cold War and Vanguard in Season 3 and Season 4. So that said, that's that's everything that we learned as of today quite a bit and again if we're learning this much this early on still a couple of weeks out from season three's launch i'm very curious to see what next week and the following week holds in regards to information and reveals coming so that said drop your thoughts down below what are you guys liking out of what we learned here today is there anything in particular that strikes you as particularly interesting whatever the case drop your thoughts down below if you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things warzone vanguard and even black ops cold war here in the near future also maybe a modern warfare 2 reveal again in the near future so if you're interested in any of that hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing but that said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace